Okay, hello, uh, this is Mystic Rob, and uh, first thing I want to say is, if you are watching this video, uh, and you are not Nick Dutch, it is because Nick Dutch approved me making this video public. Okay, I want to get that straight right off. Secondly, I recently received a, uh, a, a tarot reading uh, by Nick Dutch, and it was wonderful. Very, very good reading, very much a, um, you know, He's an excellent, okay? He's an excellent reader. And I'm making this a video particularly directed at you, Nick, because I was going to try and type this out, but it just, I didn't know how to, I just thought it would come across better if I had said this uh, in video. And you know, and no hurt feelings if you don't want this to go public, I'll just take it down. Um, I, it, I, I won't even, I'll post it privately, and uh, we'll hash that out. But anyways, uh, the one thing, though, about the read that I, as a reader... And, and let's let's be honest, doctors make the worst patients, teachers make the worst students, and uh, tarot readers probably make the worst querents. Um, but I, I thought it was a good read. But one of the questions you seemed to answer wasn't with, uh, it, it didn't come off as if you were answering it uh, by divination or by a tarot read or, or, or what have you. It seemed like you were just giving advice. And, you know, to be honest, uh, I've had reads that were far worse in the context of somebody who, you know, I went to a read for and they were just doing life co coaching. At the same time, as a reader and advisor, that is part of what some people do. Now, so what I'm, what I'm saying is it's just a difference in style. This is in no way a complaint, but it brings up an interesting question. At what point do you rely on what's in the cards, and at what point do you put your own personal experience into it? You see, this is an area that I struggled with quite a bit on my own as a reader. And I, you know, very rarely try to put my experience into it. And when I do, it's as a, this is what happened to me, but your mileage may vary kind of thing. But at the same time, I'm glad that there are different styles out there. I'm glad, that, you know, because not every person... Uh, does things the same way, not every person needs the same kind of read. I remember uh, one gentleman wanted to know if he should go uh, investigate voodoo. He had various reasons that he was being led to that, but he also had a lot of um, apprehensiveness about it. And I think like a, a hermit card came up or something like that, and so, you know, my advice was study about it before you practice it. And learn what the word voodoo means, and uh, by all means, um, make the decision yourself, but make it an informed decision, and if after you've studied it, you still need help, you can come back to me and we'll draw some more cards on it. I didn't want to tell him what to do, but I wanted to empower him with the ability to make the best decision for himself, and also keep in mind that as readers... Um, Oh, I mean, God, when I was doing phone reads, you know, if I had had my injected my sense of morality into it, we would have had all sorts of problems, you know, because uh, some of the, when you do phone readings, you get a lot of people who aren't quite faithful to their spouses. And uh, and once again there, I, you know, people were amazed. They said, well, you, you read, you know, you, you figured out that this person isn't my husband, but you've not really scolded me about it. I'm like, well, that's not my job to to impose a morality or to impose my experience. It's to read the cards and to interpret what they say for you. But I also know <clears throat> that I don't know everything. And it's it's a question that I've dealt with other people and have had other discussions with, and I think it's a good question. So I'm I want to post this uh, privately. Um, you can just re if you just want to respond to it and say, well, I'd rather this not be posted publicly, and then I'll just take it down and no one will ever see it. Or if you want to uh, post a a response to it um, that you think is going to be uh, educational for people and you think that this should all be out there, then, then you know, we can do that too. But no malice at all. It's just a question of styles. 
and I appreciate the advice, even though if it was given as advice and I disagree with it, um, this particular issue is something people have disagreed with uh, ever since shamanism has been studied. And there are various, you know, it, it's, it's a, a schism in the field. So it's a philosophical difference as far as how you answer that particular question, and I'm okay with that. And uh, the fact that I'm not sure what the basis of how you answered it on is a matter of style. So I just want to make it very clear, this is, and I am very happy with the read. Matter of fact, um, I'll probably put your, your uh, on the screen here through the magic of video editing, put your link on there. Um, Nick Dutch, you can get a great read from $20. He's a, he's a better reader than I am. Yeah, he's brilliant. Uh, there's just one little philosophical issue on one question that he answered. The other questions uh, I'm very, very happy with uh, are very insightful answers. And even the one he gave me uh, that, that I have a question with was an insightful answer. Um, so, by all means, Nick, uh, please respond to this. Let me know what you think. Um, I like you a lot. I've, I've looked at some of your other videos on morality in uh, reading. And so I know this is something that uh, you don't gloss over. This is something that you'll take serious. And, uh, I'd, and you know what? Even if this doesn't go, if you don't want this to go public, I'm hoping you'll give me um, a, an answer that'll help educate me. Okay? Thanks a lot, Nick. Peace.